Good evening. I'm James Sadderley. Welcome to Sports Monday. The semi-final rung of the PLB opening season concluded over the weekend and we caught up with yesterday's showdown between Verdes FC and Altitude FC, who were locked in a 1-1 stalemate at the conclusion of Game 1. Today, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. And only one can move on. Hey folks, we are only four minutes in when Andres Orozco fires this set piece that finds the meanest corner of the goal defended by Woodrow Ress, and it's Altitude FC with the early lead. At the 10th minute, we really don't know what the Altitude defense Elroy Cole was thinking when he brought down Christian Lopez inside the box. The referee naturally rules for penalty. Elroy Smith gets the call and he ties the score with a tremendous low cruise missile of high velocity that easily beats the goalkeeper Devin Langsworth. We are at the 19th minute when Christian Lopez, number 25, spots the altitude keeper outside of his goal, so he raises the ball into the net to give Verdes a 2 1 lead. Hey, fans, this can only be the one that Granny says, check it with a grain of salt. Everal Chop rolls this ball to the keeper, Woodrow West. And guess what? West simply botches the easy stop to give altitude an on on goal at the 33rd minute of play, and we tied at two apiece. Christian Lopez immediately looks to break the tie with this run at goal to fire a right foot that forces the dive by Devin Langsword, who gets a second opportunity at the save, only to see his defender, Jose Urbina kick his outstretched right hand, and then steps on the left. Hey, some days are worse than others. Devin Langsword would continue. Edwin Bernal triggers the corner kick for Verdes. Elroy Smith comes up with a wicked header. Langsword comes up with a finger touch save. Yes, his fingers are hurt again, people. In late second half play, Christian Lopez picks out a wide open Tremaine Harris, who gives Verdes a 3-2 lead from inside the box. We're into second half action when Edwin Bernal hits the side netting from close range. Tremaine Harris then gets this close-up look at goal but pulls out a high riser. Hey folks, watch Myron Cadle unleash this cruel left foot at Woodrow West, but the keeper, he comes out this time with flying colors. Talk about a power launch, it's Christian Lopez coming hard from off the right side to crush the ball that screams into the back of the net past the keeper. Verdes goes up 4-2. to two. Five minutes later, Verdes displays excellent passing on this attack that ends with Denmark Casey setting table for Tremaine Harris, who makes it a 5-2 score at the 83rd minute, and that's the way it would end. FC Altitude, Altitude FC is eliminated, and Verdes returns to the finals. They will meet Bandit Sports, who lost game two in a 1-0 affair to the defending champion San Pedro Pirates. The Bandits took game one, in a 2-1 to one score, so they move on on goal average. Game one of the finals unfolds this Saturday at the Isidoro Beaton Stadium inside Belmopan. We now switch to the FFB Stadium at Capital City, Belmopan, for Saturday's friendly international matchup between Guatemala and Belize. I should have said friendly female international matchup. Eight minutes into the ball game, Leslie Ventura centers into the box. Marta Beatrice is unattended, and she scores against goalkeeper Sharon Enriquez. Looking for an answer, Florine Vasquez picks out Katie Jones, whose header inches over the crossbar. Jada Brown delivers this ball to Katie Jones, whose right foot swing crashes into the side netting. On this press, Jada Brown gets her chance to score, but the right foot swing just wouldn't dip in time. Katie Jones stays in the hunt for a goal, but places this ball too close to the goalkeeper. This corner kick provides Jada Brown the chance at goal with the header, but Jessica Sanchez in the Guatemalan goal is really on her game today, people. We are in second half play when Florine Vasquez sets up this beauty to Katie Jones, who heads it to Ashley Rodriguez, but her shot is right to Miss Sanchez, and you know Miss Sanchez is red hot today. Tamara Baptist is able to pick out Katie Jones off this set piece, but P Katie, she goes for power instead of accuracy, and it hits the crossbar. 
26 minutes into second half, the Belize defense gives this ball to Paula Leslie, who makes them pay as Guatemala goes on to post a two-zip victory. You know, the girls played real good in terms of this game. They had possession, but you must score goals to get the double out. In other football news, Belize is hosting the Uncov and the 15 football tournament at the FFB Stadium, which kicks off today, December 22nd. It will conclude on the 8th of December. Belize is in Group A, and they will face Nicaragua in the nightcap, which kicks off at 7.30 p.m. Looking at CYDP football, the playoff results look like this. Barrack Road FC edged Lucky Strike 3 to 2. Stars Academy got over Yaba in a 3 1 score. FC Elite did a number on Ebony Lake to a 9 zip showing. And Lake High, they doubled Caesar's, Caesar Ridge 2 to 1. Semi final play comes up Sunday, December 15th. Barrack Road will take on Lake High, and FC Elite will face Stars Academy. Turning to the basketball scene, Sugar City Hoops concluded it. It's three class season over the weekend. Gators completed the best of three series over Dream Chasers, 38 to 35. Jameer Young, a 501, took home MVP honors, and we say congratulations. At the under 19 level, Get Lace Ballers closed the deal with a 71 to 56 W over one family. Clinton Shaw emerged with MVP honors. In the senior open finals, Mayan Man repeated as champions over Legacy 81, taking the final game in an 88 to 81 score. Ashton Edwards of Mayan Man Warriors is the most valuable player. And guess what? You're big! Looking to the weekend, the 501 Gators team won the under 12 Copa Gatorade International Basketball Tournament, which was staged in Chetumal, Mexico beating Unidad Serena Stratones 25 to 22 for the championship. Hey, your international. Hey folks, that's our show for today. Certainly hope you enjoyed it. We invite you back same time, same place next week. Ja! Overall, I'm James Adderley.